Here's our updated checklist. We've added this other list of hand sanitizers authorized under COVID-19 interim measures. So there's two lists that you need to check for authorized products. These products may not have a DIN or NPN number on them. They might have authorization numbers from other countries. In this checklist, we're still concerned about hand sanitizer being distributed in food containers. There has been an update to the label requirement. There needs to be a big red octagon that says do not eat. Uh, if your hand sanitizer comes in a food container, keep it away from food. If the container doesn't reseal, transfer the product to a sealable container with a small mouth. Uh, glass is the best material to use. Cans that are used for alcoholic beverages or iced coffee can become corroded by the high ethanol concentration and hydrogen peroxide, which oxidizes the can. You'll see this on the outside of the can as discoloration or even little crystals growing on the outside. If you see this, dispose of the material, the can and everything, as a hazardous material. Take it to your hazardous waste disposal location. If there is no damage to the can, immediately transfer the contents to a container, either glass or plastic. Glass is better, and make sure that the label is clear that it's hand sanitizer and not to eat it. We're also interested in additives, like is it carbonated in the bottling process, um, or does it have any added scent or perfume? All hand sanitizers must be labeled with the concentration of ethanol, if it says technical grade, it has an increased amount of impurity. If it doesn't say technical grade, it may not be medical grade, but it has low levels of impurities. We're still expecting to see glycerol and hydrogen peroxide in the formulations for hand sanitizer. This is what's recommended by the World Health Organization. Non-medicinal ingredients are still being supplemented and in disrupted supply. You should be looking for a license number, DIN, NPN, or FDC. Not all products will have these, but if they don't, then they must be on that list of approved uh, interim sanitizers. Otherwise, it's not licensed and shouldn't be distributed. You should report that product. Find the link for reporting non-compliant products in the description below. All hand sanitizers must have directions for use. If it's technical grade and labeled as technical grade, it should also say adults only, uh, do not inhale and not to be used on broken or damaged skin and not to be used if you are pregnant or breastfeeding. All hand sanitizers must be labeled flammable and must have the manufacturer distributor name and location, a lot number and the expiry date. There are a couple of ways that you can re report a suspicious product. These trigger an investigation, so if you're not sure, just submit. We hope this helps you navigate the kind of wild west that's going on with hand sanitizers. Thank you for watching Goo for Science. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and hit the subscribe button for more gooey content.